Most of the talks about the recent Paris Air Show have been about a new airplane from Airbus and the Boeing 737 MAX. Both are narrow-bodied planes, and both received orders for billions of dollars, despite the opposing publicity that anticipated their presence at the show. Even before the Paris show, carriers have increasingly bought more narrow-bodied planes than wide-bodied. This is because planes such as the 737 MAX and the A320 NEO are generally 15% to 20% more efficient than the previous generation. Being more efficient means that aircrafts also have longer maintenance intervals which translates in lower costs. The Paris Air Show focuses on the transportation aspect of the aviation industry, but the maintenance, repair, and overhaul operations also represent a large segment of this market. This segment is commonly referred to as MRO, and the MRO industry has its own trade show which we attended a few months ago. The show is about the nuts and bolts of the airline industry, and today it is valued over $74 billion, with engines accounting for about 40% of this market. The market will get even bigger in the next 10 years as the global fleet will climb to almost 40,000 aircraft from the current 27,000 units. To provide the same advantages of new planes and remain competitive, airlines will also need to reconvert the previous generation airplanes. This will include adding new services like faster internet connection for every seat and interior work, including cabin densification, which unfortunately means adding more seats by reducing leg space. Advantages in data processing, sensor technology, 3D printing, and smart materials will allow real-time analysis of components in airplanes that will improve safety, efficiency, and logistics, and potentially redefining the way we fly in the future. Take a listen to what AutoCAD has been working on. Now, the first component that we've been working on is this partition panel. It divides the cabin and supports the jump seats that the flight attendants tend and sit in during takeoff and landing. Now the current design of that partition, which has been flying in the A320 successfully for decades, it's already strong and lightweight. Made from a modern honeycomb composite, there is nothing wrong with it. But clearly, Airbus isn't interested in what's merely good enough. They want to explore the limits of what is possible. So they gave our algorithm the performance goals and constraints for this partition, and it returned tens of thousands of options, all of which fully met those goals. And then through a collaborative back and forth between the human design team and the computer, the optimal design is chosen. And here it is. This is Airbus's bionic partition. It weighs half as much as the original. And yet, strangely, it's even stronger. Each partition installed into an A320 will save 25 kilos in weight. Imagine the impact of redesigning the entire cabin this way for every Airbus 320. Airbus estimates that this will save half a million metric tons of CO2 per year. That's like removing 96,000 passenger cars from the road. There is one big problem, however, that the industry is facing. Not enough pilots and not enough technicians, as the chart shows. Advances in airplane technology will drive demand for a new set of digital skills. In the meantime, technologies such as augmented and mixed reality are used to improve the training experience of future generation of workers.
The Electric Revolution also made a mark at this year's Paris Air Show with startups like Aviation representing a new category of electric aircrafts and urban air mobility vehicles that will likely become key players of the future market.